So let me tell you about an interesting experiment that our family conducted. Last April, a friend of mine told me about this really intriguing and slightly weird, well, okay, it's really weird, <laughs> experiment, and I couldn't wait to try it. She told us to boil white rice, but instead of eating it for dinner, she told us to put it into glass canning jars. So we filled the jars with this cooked rice about halfway full. And then after tightly twisting on the lids, we labeled the jars in permanent marker. One we labeled love and the other one we labeled hate. And we put the jars in two different rooms and every day we would talk to the jars as they were labeled. We would go into the love jar and we would say things like, you are the prettiest white rice. We love you. We are so happy you came to our house. And then using our meanie head voices, we would say to the hate jar, you are ugly. We wish you didn't live here. You're going to turn brown. Well, it, admittedly, it was a little weird to talk to rice. But after just six days, the hate rice started to develop black, yucky, moldy spots on the bottom, while the, the love jar was as white and fluffy as the day that we started. Amazed by what was happening, we continued being rice whisperers. <laughs> and after two months of talking to the rice, the love jar was just as white and fluffy as the first day, but the hate jar had become a soupy, disgusting mini swamp. You couldn't even make out one of the grains of rice. Words did that. Not heat, not cold, not stirring, shaking, turning, mixing. Words. Unkind words. It was like a crazy science experiment. And it can actually be explained scientifically. <clears throat> the rapid oscillation of the larynx when not experiencing dysphonia carries through the amorphous and optically transparent jar into the dihydrogen monoxide in the areza sativa. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> or in other words, the vibrations of our voice carried through the glass jar into the water in the rice, and the rice responded. But it was a real eye-opener to our family, from the seven-year-old to the 42-year-old, that words matter. An unkind word can linger in the mind replayed over and over. Fortunately, so can a word of praise and a word of encouragement. Elder Holland said, words are sacred and must be spoken with care and by constraint of the spirit. Words matter.